What are El Nino and La Nina? Warmer or colder than average ocean temperatures in one part of the world can influence weather around the globe. Boggles the mind, right? Here's how it works. During normal conditions, trade winds, which blow from east to west, push warm surface waters towards Asia, piling it up in the western Pacific. In some years, though, the trade winds weaken, the warm surface water moves eastward and reduces upwelling of cold water off the coast of South America. Climatologists call this El Nino. Its climate impacts show up mostly in the wintertime over North America. The warmer ocean fuels an intensification and southward shift of the jet stream. This brings flooding to the southern United States and warmer, drier conditions over parts of the Pacific Northwest, northern U.S. and Canada. But eventually, those trade winds pick up again and sometimes become even stronger than normal. When that happens, they blow the warm water back into the western Pacific and restart the upwelling of cool water towards the surface in the eastern Pacific. These strong trade winds are a signature of what is called La Nina, unusually cold conditions in the tropical Pacific that displace the jet stream northward. La Nina can lead to drought in the southern U.S. and cooler temperatures, heavy rains and flooding in the Pacific Northwest. El Nino and La Nina together are part of a cycle that influences extreme weather and can impact food production, water supply, and even human health, not just in the U.S., but in many parts of the globe. What is the impact of El Nino in the Philippines? An El Nino event is manifested in the Philippine local climate by drier than normal weather conditions that can last for one or more seasons, causing dry spales or even drought. What areas are affected by El Nino in the Philippines 2024? In Region 3, the municipality of Capas, Tarlac on February 2024 reported that the livelihood of farmers, predominantly from IP indigenous people families, has been severely affected by the El Nino. Affected farmers were also reported in the provinces of Aurora, Bataan, Balacan, Hueva Esija, Pampanga, and Zambali. Now comes another big concern. La Nina has come back. Philippines to face more cyclones in 2024 with La Nina's return. La Nina is characterized by unusually cooler than average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern equatorial Pacific. It triggers above normal rainfall in the Philippines. Where do we go from here? How can we do farming when there was severe drought caused by El Nino? And now will come intense rains and flooding brought by La Nino. We cannot control Mother Nature, but we can adopt. We can start adopting the vertical farming ways. There can be no more other ways. Best of luck to us all.